Welcome everybody. This is Dr. Ashton and this is an introduction to Psychology 251. This is the introduction, the welcome to the class. Uh, if you're thinking about taking the class, if you've signed up for it and are still thinking about it, or if you're definitely going to take the class, uh, this will give you a brief overview of what we're going to be doing. And first off, let me introduce you a little bit to myself. I have a PhD in social psychology, and I got that at Miami University of Ohio. And uh, in graduate school, I studied the fundamental attribution era, the stigma of mental illness, and gender and social support. Besides doing a lot of teaching, I did some non-academic work. Uh, I was the uh, executive director for a community leadership training program. And then also, I was the associate uh, director of a community mental health center. And specifically, I was in involved with community organizing. I've been at York since 2003. And I teach social psych methods, IO, and OB organizational behavior. And in the past, I've served as the director of the honors program. I'm married, and here's me and my wife, Barbara back when we visited uh, Smoky Mountains, uh, you know, about maybe 15 years ago or so. It was a very nice vacation. And so now let me tell you a little bit about the topic. This is Organizational Behavior, or OB. And uh, OB is about human behavior in groups and organizations. So it's how people act in groups. It's how organizations work. It's how groups and organizations interact with each other. So the social aspect of uh, being a person, working in groups, that's what OB is about. You'll notice if you've had any business experience or business courses that the topics are similar to a business course, but the methodology and the things that we talk about, the findings are definitely psychological. So some of those topics is managing, leadership, group development, and group learning. These are topics that we will be covering this semester, and we'll be covering them from a uh, psychological perspective. Let me give you then an introduction to the process. This is a hybrid course. Uh, so uh, you're going to have to do a lot of work online. And uh, probably, if you think about it, about 2 thirds of the work that you'll be doing will be online, or maybe even more. So you need to think about this as an online course. If you haven't taken an online course before, uh, I would suggest that you have a good computer. Uh, if you can watch YouTube videos without that little circle of lines going around all the time, then you have a good computer that's fast enough to run what you need to run for this course. Uh, you need to have a good internet connection. Uh, again, if you get uh, problems uh, watching videos, then you probably may not have a fast enough internet connection. Uh, you also need to know some basics about the computer, how to use it. Again, if you, uh, you know, do Facebook, uh, if you do other things on the internet, on social websites, then you probably have enough skills to do that. Also, you'll need soft skills. Soft skills are what business people call the skills that get you into the door of the business. Uh, that is, you need to be able to set deadlines for yourself. You need to make a schedule. You need to be able to keep to that. Uh, you need to be able to get to class on time. You need to be able to do the assignments on time. Uh, if you really rely on coming in three hours a week and having your professor there tell you what you have to do now, then going to a hybrid course may be difficult for you because I'm only going to be there one hour a week, and the rest is going to be you and you organizing things. Uh, segwaying in from soft skills to study skills. Uh, since I'm not going to be lecturing you uh, two and a half hours a week, uh, instead of just 50 minutes a week, uh, you're going to do a lot of work on your own. So you have to have the study skills. You have to know about how to read a textbook. Uh, how to take an exam, you have to have those advanced study skills. And one thing I always like to mention is that you need to have a place, a place that where your computer is, where you can work without family members bothering you, uh, where you can uh, actually study and actually can compose things and actually think. 
If you want to know more about the whole process of an online course and what you need, uh, look at the Blackboard Help button, which is uh, one of the uh, colored buttons on the uh, left-hand side of your screen, and it's towards the top. If you click that, there will be many, many pages of information about what to expect and what you'll need to be able to do for an online course. As I said, this is uh, think of this as a mostly online course. Uh, we're only meeting 50 minutes a week, so everything else will be online. Uh, we're meeting uh, those 50 minutes uh, Thursdays at 11, uh, and uh, so everything else in the course will be online. The quizzes and the exams will be online. Most of the assignments uh, will be online. So think about this as an online course. So the plan of the course. Uh, weekly, uh, you can expect that we'll have a quiz. We'll have a quiz on uh, each chapter of the book each week. Uh, the quizzes are going to be online. Uh, the way I do the quizzes is that you have the, the population of multiple choice questions that will be asked to study beforehand. Uh, the quiz has 10 questions on it. Uh, you have 15 minutes, and you have multiple chances to take the exam, the quiz. So if you get a score and you don't like it, you can take the quiz again. The only thing is it won't be the same quiz, but Blackboard will randomly select from that whole population of questions that we have for each chapter. Uh, but you can uh, take the quiz up to three, uh, up to three times, and I will only record the highest score. So it's set up to, to you know, actually try to help you learn the material the best you can. Uh, also, we'll have, even though it's a weekly quiz, you'll have uh, about the week that we're doing that chapter and then two weeks after to take the quizzes. So you have a great deal of time uh, to uh, study for and prepare for and take the quizzes. Also, more or less weekly, a little bit less, we'll have these short assignments. Uh, these short assignments are basically, uh, they're going to be online, and they're basically about uh, learning about the research aspect of organizational behavior uh, for two important reasons. One important reason is, as I said before, what makes OB different than a business course is that we're doing things as psychologists, and psychology is a science, so we're doing research. So we're going to learn what a research article is, how to find them on PsycInfo, uh, how to read a research article, uh, how to understand the process of doing research. Uh, the other reason why we're doing these research-based uh, projects is that the 200-level courses need to prepare students in psychology for research methods. And uh, research methods, of course, is about uh, research. Uh, our in-person meetings each week will either have a short lecture, a 50-minute lecture, or probably 40, 45-minute lecture, a question and answer session, or a very short group activity about what we're doing uh, that uh, you know, week on, in the book. And then finally, we'll have a midterm and final, and these will both, these will both be online, and uh, they will be uh, on Blackboard, and they will be based on the same questions that you've been quizzing over. Okay, the grading elements, uh, very simple. We have the quizzes, the two exams, and the short assignments. I split those up so we have uh, you know, one grade from the first half, one grade from the second half of the semester. Uh, so it's 20% for the quizzes. The exams are 25% each. And the first half of the semester, the short assignments are 15%. The second half, they are 15% also. And finally, questions. Uh, if you have questions about the class, go to the discussion board and look for the office hours forum. And look to see if your question has been answered already. If not, go ahead and ask it. Uh, if you have individual questions about uh, that only pertain to you or are of, of a personal nature, uh, then uh, please email me uh, at my email address. And then one final thing. Uh, if you take the course, remember the last day to drop with a W is November the 8th. And that's important if, you're, if you think you're going to fail the course. Remember, a W does not count into your GPA, and that's important. 
but also if you plan to go to graduate school and you think you're going to get a C or a D in the course, uh, you could drop so that you can uh, protect your uh, GPA. So those are things that you need to keep in mind.